Okay, the first thing I want to do on this template is to get things laid out a little bit more to my liking. In my particular case, I have a template page sitting here where all of my information is kind of jammed up against the left border over here. And indeed, I'm going to zip this window in here. If I were to take a look at the preview of this page, notice that it comes right up against the left hand side. The reason for this is that this template has all of its margins and paddings taken down to zero. The reason for that is because it's easier to actually start with everything in a zero position and then work your way up as opposed to manipulate all of the little intricate uh, details in terms of what has natural padding versus what doesn't, etc. But when I am looking at this page, and certainly for production level, I'm going to go ahead and, and bring that left hand side in. Now, super easy way to do this is to create a wrapper around everything on the page. So each of these little boxes are already in place. And what's happening is each of the boxes have been told just shift all the way over to the left hand side. So now what I basically want to do is put in a super box that contains everything on the page and then go ahead and tell that box bring yourself in a little bit on the left hand side or the right hand side. So what I'm going to do to address this issue is I'm going to create what's called a div tag and I'm going to call that wrapper. In order to do that, I'm going to come over here on my right hand side and I see a variety of different styles already in place for me. Some of which we've talked about already, some of which we have yet to talk about. In this particular case, I want to create a new piece on this side and it's going to be associated with what's called a division or a div area. And a division is basically just a block of information. We highlight something and we create that as a division. So in order to start a new div, I'm going to come down here to the lower right. And I have a couple of different icons here. One of them is the plus sign and it says new CSS rule. I'm going to click on that one time. I do want this to be an ID because I only want one wrapper in my entire page. I'm going to go ahead and erase what's there and notice that a div starts with a pound signed automatically with the ID label I would know that that's going to become a division and I want it to start with a pound and then I'm going to call this wrapper some people would call this page wrapper but for my purposes wrapper is what I would go with I'm going to go ahead and click OK now it's giving me some options as to how to define that wrapper and because I want this wrapper to basically function as an overall control for the entire page, I'm going to come over here to where it says box. And I want this wrapper only to be 800 pixels wide. The nice thing about this wrapper is that later on, if I decide to go to a smaller screen resolution or a larger, I can just come in here and change this one value. I'm doing it this way as opposed to individually changing each of these boxes. Wouldn't want to have to do that to multiple boxes at a later point. Now the secret to getting a wrapper to do what you want to do in terms of uh, page width is this. I'm defining that it has to be 800 pixels wide and I must give a definition as to how wide. Here back in my screen my end user could have a screen of a thousand pixels wide, 1200 pixels wide, even even wider. In order for this page to actually box itself in, it needs to know how wide it can go. In this case, I'm selecting 800. Now, the other part is this margin over here. I'm going to uncheck the same for all because I don't really want to fuss with the top or the bottom margins. I just want to fuss with the right and left. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in auto, or I could just simply click on the drop down and choose auto. But basically I want my right and my left margins to be auto. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now notice nothing significant happened and that's because we actually haven't put the wrapper in the HTML code over here. Notice that it is sitting here in my list of styles. Now just for the sake of mentally organizing myself I'm going to drag this wrapper 
to the top of this stack and I'm going to do it in a couple phases there. I'm going to drag it all the way to the top here. So the thought in terms of these styles is that they are hierarchical, meaning that we start out here with this particular style and it's telling the page to zero out all of the margins and paddings. Now we're going to a wrapper, which is going to encase all of my content and it is in my definition only going to be 800 pixels wide and then from there on out all of these other things will follow in place. Now how do I get to applying that on this particular page? First of all I want to grab everything on this page. Best way to do it is just to do a control A. Now it is super important that I grab everything on the page because I don't want anything sitting outside of this wrapping box. I'm going to click on the word insert. Don't be nervous about the fact that it looks like your page deselected. It's fine. Click on layout objects. Come over here to div, div tag. And what we're basically saying to Dreamweaver is I want to insert some type of layout feature and I'm going to use a div tag to do that. Now notice here where it says insert the wrap around the selection so I had previously selected all my content and that's why I want to wrap it around that selection notice here under the ID I could simply type in wrapper but because I have not actually used this div Dreamweaver knows that and it is sitting right there so once I've used a div I cannot reuse it on the page I do not need to define a new CSS rule because I've already done that. That was one of my first things when I set my box width, etc. But this is the easiest way to grab that wrapper. Alternately, like I said, I could have typed it in. I'm going to go ahead and click OK and notice that immediately that wrapper feature has taken over. I'm going to go ahead and save my page and that is all there is to changing some basic layout techniques on our page. If I wanted to come back over here later on and say that this was only a 500 pixel wide piece, I could do that and notice that it immediately jumps into the framework that I would want it. I'm going to switch that back to 800 and I'll see you guys in a minute.